We're going to put all the hardware on, the hinges, um, handles, all that stuff. And then, batteries and the rest. But right now, we're putting all the hardware and stuff on in the doors. The doors came out actually very nice. Um, probably the best part of the whole trailer project. Um, this, this is just a piece of plywood with cloth and glue stretched over it, sanded and painted. It's come out beautifully, actually, and it actually has the feel of leather that's stretched over it. It's really kind of a cool, kind of a cool feeling. Can't wait to install these. It was a size of them certainly that made them easier to work with. Parts of it still wrinkled up and gathered up, and in fact, one of these pieces is the same way. There's a little area right here where it shrunk up. We were able to use an old technique, you know, where you it's like popping an air bubble. We made a tiny slit in the fabric and we injected some glue in there and spread it around and that helped a lot, but we still have some that sticks up, but it's okay, it'll be fine. So, so today we get to put all these panels and doors on. All we need to do is put them inside the openings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to screw this piece of wood to the back to sort of hold it up against the inside of the trailer where it is, you know, where we know it needs to be. Put shims around the perimeter to hold that door exactly where we want it and then fit our hinges uh, for these. Put them in and move it on. Okay, I'm ready. You ready, Robert? Good, give me a kiss for luck. Folks, looks like we're finally getting to a place where we can start installing some fun accessories. Uh, we've got to install the lighting for the trailer so we can drive it on the highway legally. Anyway, where we live, uh, it's not required to register a trailer, but uh, where contentment is, it will be required. And of course, you got to have lights and stuff for that. So, on the back of the truck, I've got a seven-way plug uh, that'll come in handy. And I found online, found this nice little you know, connector for it. And uh, with those two screws means that the uh, junction box for the wiring is loaded. Already connected to the underside of the tongue. It's the way I like it. 
And here's that box. Got some cool ways to uh, supply power to the trailer. White is ground on the trailer. Uh, and then you've got black. It's uh, just plain old 12 volt power. Yellow is for the left turn signal. Green is for the right turn signal. Red, I think, operates some trailer brake or something like that. Brown is the uh, power for the running lights, uh, the tail lights and marker lights and things like that. And I think this is a brake. Uh, this wiring came with the, the lights and all. And I went and bought a 3 8 inch plastic loom to, uh, you know, protect the, protect the wiring since we're going to mount the other side of the trailer. The green and brown is for the right side of the trailer. And then we've got yellow and brown for the other side of the trailer. I don't know if you can see that. But, um... Anyway, there's the other side of the trailer. So we got this, you know, pretty well wired up here. Uh, got them all hooked in. And then uh, over here, I extended the white wire over here so I could actually attach it to ground. This is attached to the underside of the metal part of the trailer. And, uh, and then the ground will continue to be one solid ground from the chassis of the truck to the chassis of the trailer. And uh, nice and safe. <laughs> Left blinker, right blinker, brake lights, woo, lights, action. It's no longer in the dark, baby. We got lights. Aren't you happy? Yes, I'm glad I figured it out. Folks, you would not believe the nightmare I've endured today with these lights. I bought a seven-way plug to go in the seven-way receptacle in the bumper of my truck. So it's seven wires and a little round plug, plugs into the bumper. And typically the, they have several different colors of wire. Each one means a different thing normally on standard across all trailers. For instance, green is your right blinker, yellow is your left blinker, brown is your running lights, blue is your electric brakes, that kind of stuff. But no, oh no, they couldn't be that. They had all those colors, but they had them all mixed up. So I had to go in and figure out which ones were which. It's a nightmare. I thought I had this stuff wired wrong. I had it wired correctly the whole time. And it was that dumb junction box up there that, uh, that I ordered that was supposed to be pre-wired correctly that wasn't. So much for ordering something like that to make it easier. Oh well, got it done.